I think the repository movement is a very important part of scholarly communication planning and thinking. Uh, we know that scholars are putting their works in a variety of places. Uh, traditionally, it's been the publisher's repository, but more and more scholars are finding other outlets for their work, uh, disciplinary repositories, uh, school depositories, their own personal websites. Uh, government agencies are now talking about deposit of work that they uh, fund, uh, also being deposited in government repositories. So I think it was a, an appropriate uh, development that institutions, uh, colleges and universities, would find an outlet for the expression of the intellectual work being done on those campuses. So I think institutional repositories have become a very important way uh, for communication of the work of an um, academic community, uh, but particularly also for the archiving of that information, the permanent preservation and availability and integrity of that information. Well, I think scholars, uh, researchers, are very interested in others reading their work. I think it's scholarly communication because the notion is that there will be readers at the other end of that process. So if the libraries, through the Institutional Repository Program, can capture and uh, post that information to a global audience, and we can maximize the availability uh, through appropriate metadata, descriptions, um, and the uh, easy access to that information, um, I think that scholars would welcome the chance for their work to have a, a broader readership. I think that's one of the true objectives of an institutional repository, is to expand that communication. But also, we can't lose sight of that long-term availability. One of the risks, obviously, in the web environment is that a very large percentage of the born digital information that's being published on the web, either as websites or as web documents, uh, very often have a short shelf life. They disappear, they're changed, and one has to be concerned about the future viability of the scholarly process if the information that's being published, the information that's being used for research, uh, no longer is there uh, in the future. And a repository is one way to guarantee that ongoing permanent availability. I think scholars will want that, uh, not just the broadened access and use, but the confidence that the information is being preserved uh, under, under appropriate technology um, and organizational standards, um, and people 10, 15, 50 years from now uh, will be able to access and use that information well. The library and its Center for Digital Research and Scholarship is the appropriate venue, the appropriate catalyst for this institutional repository process to proceed. Uh, we would have the ability to work with faculty and researchers across the university. We would be able to ingest, take in that information, organize it properly, integrate the, the critical technology which enables appropriate access and use, and to make sure that it is deposited in the digital preservation infrastructure uh, that we are developing and implementing within the libraries. Uh, we are a resource that serves the entire university and therefore I think are in a good position to create the appropriate standards and the widest availability of the information coming in from different parts of the university.